guys Ryan here welcome back to another tutorial and uh, today I, I, we were breaking down the visual effects of that short film I did for the trailer I went to open it up today to keep working on the effects and the drive is dead let's uh, let's look right now I'm actually still in the process of recovering it so I'm hoping that drive comes back so in the meantime this is what I want to do I'm going to post some screenshots of some tutorials that are coming up and I want you to vote on them at the end of this video. I'll post a poll, whatever poll wins, that's what we'll do next week. Eventually we'll do all of them, but let's look real quick at what tutorials you guys want to see next week. So here we go. Do you want to see a muzzle flash tutorial? We got this no looking at explosion in the background happening. We kind of got this slow motion matrix effect that we talked about last week. We have this jumping from one car to another, rolling down the highway. And last but not least, you want to see at all how we made the 3D end title credits. So yeah, go ahead and uh, at the end of the video, vote on the poll, and that's the video we'll do next week. Other than that, let's jump into our quick tip of the day. So one script that I really like to use and I use often, it's on AE scripts and it's called Sky Dome. And uh, what you can do is you can name your own price. You know, you can do $0 if you want or you know, it's a pretty awesome script. If you want to give the guy $5 to uh, buy a coffee, you know, for his time, uh, you can do that as well. So download that, put it in your scripts folder, and let's go ahead and kind of jump into why I love this preset. So what I got right now is I got, uh, I have this, you know, 2D text, and I brought in Element 3D, and let's go ahead and let's add a new camera. And we'll do something, you know, like a like a wide angle. We'll do, you know, let's do a 20 mil. And I'll just kind of jump in here and sort of move around. All right. And so what I'm going to do with my camera selected, I'm going to go up to file. Let's go to scripts. And I'm going to start running the BR Skydome 3D. It's going to ask for Optus compensation, which kind of bends the outside of your composition like a lens does. So let's go ahead and make the Skydome. And so right away, what we have is we kind of get an idea of how our sky dome works. And so this is real similar to trap code horizon, but you know, in my opinion, I actually prefer this because I think it's easier to work with when you bring in images and you know, I'll show you why I think that. So let me fit this so we can see a little bit more and let's kind of do a couple of quick things to start to uh, manipulate this. So what I'll do is inside of element, I'm going to select a scene. And right now my environment is being lit by kind of, you know, the default uh, element 3D. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add my own JPEG right here. And this way I'm gonna get the same reflections and the same background image inside of After Effects. So all I did is I made a JPEG from an HDRI. I'm gonna open that and I'll say, okay. And so now we have that JPEG lighting our Sky Dome text here in Element. So I'll select okay. You know, we got our, uh, we got our, we have our background image inside. So what I'm going to do is I have the JPEG of it right here. So let's go ahead and the Sky Dome script automatically created this background for you. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to jump in here. And the default is we kind of get an idea of our reference point. So uh, we don't want any of that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to bring in that same image of this uh, Grand Canyon. I'm going to do Control F to fit it. And let's go ahead and jump back out and sort of see what we have. So here we go. So now we have a background image and a reflection that is matching all inside of After Effects. And we can swing around this, you know, and kind of get a 3D panoramic view of our scene. So let me real quick jump into some of the little issues that you might have. So let me go to half resolution here. And if you see, we kind of have this little seam right here in the middle. If you know you have a perfectly circular image, all that might be is you're just not quite getting the seams correctly. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna shift this seam over so we can find that little seam. So I'm gonna add a new adjustment layer. I'm gonna look for the effect offset. Let's add that to our seam. What this is gonna do is it's gonna sort of offset and slide over our image. So if we kinda of shift this to the center we see where our seam is and what this might be, since I know this is a perfectly circular image, is it might just be a little bit in the scale. So all I'm, all I'm doing is I'm holding control and I'm just scaling this up until those two snap together. 
cool. So there we go. So now we kind of got that. Let's let's um undo the offset just so we can jump back in here into our main comp. And now we see that that seam is gone. So another thing we can do, we can go ahead and fit this back again, is this kind of looks like we're seeing through it. So what I'm going to do is if I go back into go back into our sky dome and I turn on our offset again. So now we get to sort of shift this image around and you know, however we shift it here is going to affect our composition. So let's go back to our build comp here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, so I'm going to lock this composition. I'm going to go into our sky dome background and I'm going to adjust the offset in the other composition with this lock. So we can kind of see where we want to line it up. So maybe I want something like that. Let's jump back into our build comp. And there we go. You know, we could add some little lens flares and all that good stuff. And we got a nice little scene set up. Now, let me show you one other scene real quick. You don't have to use a panoramic image either. You can create your own scene to use as a background. So in this example, what I did is I created this little stadium with some optical flare lights in the background. And I just made a circular image using Sky Dome. And so let's go ahead and I'll jump into my background so you can see how you can make your own backgrounds as well. So if I solo this without the lights on, you kind of get an idea of, you know, this sort of stadium feel. So go ahead and open this up. And I built another background. I pre-comped it inside the Sky Dome background that was created. And let me kind of just put this stadium on the top and I'll kind of show you what I started with. So this was the image I started with inside a sky dome. So if I just solo that and I go back to that same stadium scene, this is what we have inside a sky dome. Oops, kind of went under the ground there. Let's go back above the ground. So, you know, um, it's not quite working, but you know, if we kind of blend it, we can get something that we like. So what I did is I really just darkened it. So I wanted these main fascia boards underneath. I gave a little bit of a blue highlight, I gave it a green band like it's highlighting, you know, inside the fascia boards. And then also I did an orange one on top and I sort of darkened the seats even more. Inside of our sky dome composition, this is what we had just by itself. And so I duplicated that and it gave me a little bit of a seam there. And so I offset the background as well. So once we sort of uh, jump back out, uh, we get this, uh, you know, we get our background scene. Now the lights is just, uh, they're just lights inside of After Effects. And I made, and I made a layer with optical flares and optical flares sees the light. So if I turn optical flares off, or if I turn the layer off that has optical flares on it, we start to lose our stadium lights. So there we go. So that's a cool little, uh, you know, it gives a, a quick scene inside of After Effects without having to uh, jump inside of 3D. And if we add particles, they'll react to the camera. And, uh, you know, we get this nice little scene built. So there we go, guys. Just another quick tip since I'm kind of having some issues with that drive, but we'll knock it out again next week. This is where I'll post the poll. Poll for what tutorial you want to see next week, and uh, we'll make it happen. Uh, otherwise, have an awesome Friday, guys. I'll see you next week, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a great one. We 3D tracked it and we have some Z space going on and it just uh, looks pretty cool. We're gonna have our beams follow it no matter where we reposition it.